Hi, Hot Swappable Mechanical Keyboard allows you to replace switches and LEDs on the go without soldering and without even powering off the keyboard. This is a maker kit of the open source mechanical keypad Anavi Macropad 8. I have customized it by adding hole tight sockets to make it hot swappable. In this video, I will quickly explain you how to make hot swappable any printed circuit board for a mechanical keyboard with footprints for Cherry MX plate switches. Other brands such as Gateron, which I personally prefer, and Cahill are compatible with Cherry MX switches, so this solution is pretty much universal. The required hardware includes an appropriate printed circuit board for a mechanical keyboard, mechanical switches, 3mm LEDs which are actually optional, keycaps and hole tight sockets. Furthermore, the required tools are tweezers, cutters and a soldering iron. I'm using TE connectivity hole tight sockets with two different sizes, one for the mechanical switches and another smaller for the LEDs. I've ordered them from Mauser. The exact models are available in the description of the video. I purchased the gold version, which is not cheap, but the end result totally worth it. I was particularly impressed with the quick shipping from Mauser Warehouse in Texas, United States. They shipped it with FedEx. I've ordered on Friday and by Tuesday noon, the parcel was delivered here in Europe. Now, step number one. Using the tweezers, place the hole tight sockets into the printed circuit board. The sockets are small, so be careful not to lose any of them. Turn on the soldering iron, heat each socket and gently push it. Uh, so we are using a soldering iron, but in this case, not for soldering. We are just mounting the sockets with the soldering iron using its heat. In the description of this video, I've added a link to another video in YouTube which explains the whole process in details. It looks easier than it is. It took me some time to do it for all switches and LEDs. Each key has two holes for the switch and two holes for the LED. So basically you need four sockets with appropriate sizes for each key. Step number two is optional and very specific for Anavi Macropad 8. The maker kit includes a WS2812B addressable LED strip, which should be soldered on the back side of the keyboard. Please note the arrow that indicates the direction of the LED strip and make sure you're placing it properly as shown in the video. Step number three, cut the legs of the three mm LEDs to make sure they will fit well in the hot swappable hole tight sockets that we have already mounted on step one. Step number four, assemble the switches, the LEDs and the keycaps. Once you're done with step one, this is easy because you already have a hot swappable printed circuit board for your mechanical keyboard. By default, Anavi Macropad 8 is with Gateron red switches, red LEDs and white translucent keycaps. However, in this case, with the hot swappable version, I'm experimenting with blue Cherry MX switches, green LEDs and dark translucent keycaps. I repeat, the size of the LEDs is 3 mm. Double check the direction of the LED to make sure you're properly putting the cathode and the anode. If you make a mistake and put the LED in a wrong direction, it will not work. Everything is working fine, so we can have some fun and do experiments. For example, I can easily change the LEDs and have different colors for each row. Here in this example, you can see the upper row is red and the lower row is with green LEDs. Let's have a closer look of the Cherry MX blue switches on the customized version of Anavi Macropad 8 with the hole tight switches and green LEDs. You can hear the specific loud noise for which the blue switches are well known. Although it's fun to have noisy switches for a while, 
For everyday use, I prefer the relatively quiet red mechanical switches. If you can't make your mind and want to try different options, the hot swappable keyboard is a good playground for various mechanical switches. My next experiment is mixing different mechanical switches. I have purchased several different models. I have here Gateron Red, Cherry MX Blue and Cherry MX Brown. Please pay attention that these particular Cherry MX Brown switches do not have slots for the 3mm LEDs. In this video I am using the maker kit of Anavi Macropad 8. The same approach with hole tight sockets can be applied on any other printed circuit board for a mechanical keyboard with footprint for Cherry MX plate switches. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial, and stay tuned for new videos.